Hi everyone and welcome to Tip Thursday. So I know earlier this week we had a look at a couple of other features of OneNote and since we're on the topic of OneNote, let's have a look at doing calculations and the quick way to create tables. Um, what you will find with both of these um, tools or tips, it's really easy. And in fact, the calculations I didn't even know of until only the other day when I was preparing a presentation for a client. So let's jump into OneNote. Here we've got, um, I've got OneNote on the desktop working and you'll find that I've got the various tabs across the top with all the different names. And then inside the broadcast tab, I've got our calculations that we've got here. So this is the first one I'm going to have a look at. Now, I simply... Um, went in and literally typed in, for example, 10 multiplied by 5. So think of Excel. So 10 multiplied by 5. And how this works is by putting in your equal key, the moment you press your space bar, there's the answer. Wow. Look how easy that is. So I'm going to change this one, make it a divide. Again, by pressing the equal key, you'll find I give the answer. If we, we were doing Excel training, most of you have learned by now that I always talk about BODMAS, so the importance of using our brackets. So again, if I've got 2 plus 3 times 4, by putting the brackets around the 2 and 3 gives me the answer of 20, whereas if it is 2 plus 3 times 4, remembering it does your multiplication first and then gives you that answer. So if you're sitting here and you're in a meeting or you're preparing for a meeting and you want to use the calculator, instead of doing what I have always done, going down to start and find the calculator, I just use it, um, OneNote with me straight away. So the other tip I want to cover off is, again, preparing for that meeting. So I'm just going to click to create another container. And if I type in, for example, meeting, no, that I can't spell, by pressing the tab key, what it will automatically do is create um, a one by two. So one row, two, um, two cells, so two columns here, um, agenda items. And if I press my enter key, notice that it gives it another row straight away. So again, I can press my tab key, type in whatever the detail might be, it extends out. Again, I can press my enter key and it will automatically give me that extra piece or using my tab key now, once I've got that numbering turned on, it will give you that multi-level numbering, which makes it really easy. So quick ways to put a table inside of OneNote, tab key makes it really easy and remembering calculations. So nice two easy tips to help you as you are preparing for your meetings or your checking content while you're in those meetings. So with that, um, I hope you've had a great week. I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday for our members content. Again, remembering two o'clock we'll be live. And until then, have a great week. Thank you.